Everyone knows that with fire comes flavor. The flavors and the aromas from the oven are a huge part of the experience. When you walk through the door of the restaurant, there's a beautiful, slightly smoky wood aroma that you know there's, there's a wood-fired oven going in the restaurant, and you pick up those flavors in the food as well. And they're serving all that wood-fired flavor and more at Prairie Fire. Located in Coolidge Corner, Brookline, Prairie Fire is the latest spot from restaurateur Dan Kerrigan, who's created a sexy spot complete with dim lighting, big windows, and a wood-burning oven situated behind the bar, where you'll always find executive chef Brendan Joy and his team. I've always had a passion for cooking with a natural heat source. We use oak and maple, kiln-dried wood. It definitely brings some smokiness to it, a little different layer of texture, different flavor profiles that you can work with. We have the ability to control temperature a little bit better, and really keep that oven running at a, at a very high temperature. And I think that that is one of the reasons that the products that are coming out of there are truly special. So Phantom took a seat by the fire in search of the perfect meal. Appetizers at Prairie Fire are both creative and comforting. There's fluke crudo topped with watermelon radish in a cherry agridulce, and oysters bathed in scampi butter with garlic breadcrumbs that get additional flavor from that wood burning oven. It's just a spectacular different take on an oyster. So beautiful warmed oyster in the hot oven, bubbling scampi butter on top with crispy breadcrumbs, absolutely delicious dish. But the best way to get things going is with an order of the chicken and pork meatballs. The chicken and pork meatballs are a beautiful thing. They come charred out of the oven. They're very soft with a nice level of char on the outside and a beautiful traditional sauce. They're medium-sized meatballs in a piping hot cast iron dish. It's just one of many items on the menu that are perfect for passing around the table. Another option for sharing at Prairie Fire is the Neapolitan-style pizzas. Each one of these pristine pies is made using sourdough, something the chef feels strongly about. Sourdough brings some nice acidity notes to the crust. It lightens the dough up a lot. And the Neapolitan style is just focusing around grape ingredients. We do like a little bit of char on the outside on the crust. That brings in some nice smoky notes, as well as some charred and grilled notes that you would get in a, a wood-fired oven. There's the simple but sensational margarita pizza. Our margarita is as simple as it gets. We puree San Marzano tomatoes with basil, olive oil, salt, and pepper. The mozzarella is a fresh buffalo mozzarella, and it just gets finished with uh, fresh grated Parmesan and basil leaves. Or you could opt for a pizza with toppings, like this perfectly blistered specimen topped with a mushroom bechamel, kale, roasted leeks, and fontina, or the fennel sausage, Dan's personal favorite. The fennel sausage, I must admit, is my favorite pizza. The thing about that pizza that's my favorite is the house-made fennel sausage itself. Uh, beautiful chunks of fennel sausage that get roasted in the oven, so they're just crackling and crispy as they come out, and it's, it's beautiful. Just as outstanding are Prairie Fire's pastas. We're super proud of the pastas that we're producing here. Brendan truly has an ability to create pasta dishes that are unique. So there's lemon gemelli tossed in an arugula pesto with macadamia nuts, squid and caponelli in a fiery lobster arrabbiata, and the top crowd favorite, the Coco Fusilli in Duck Ragu. It's a very comforting dish, and people sit down there a little bit surprised that this is almost chopped with pasta, but after they eat it, they're really happy about it. If the chocolate pasta isn't sweet enough for you, you can opt for desserts like the chocolate pudding Oreo cookie or apple fritters served with a ginger snap ricotta. Now that's a treat you may want to keep for yourself. They're very light. You could eat them all yourself and not know you just ate the entire dish. Finished with a cider vinegar caramel and some ginger snap ricotta. It's probably the best donut you've ever had. Chicken and pork meatballs, fennel sausage pizza, cocoa fusilli, and apple fritters make for the perfect meal at Prairie Fire.